going on friends? If you're new to the channel, my name's Evan and I'm an online reseller. That means I go to places like garage sales and thrift stores to find stuff to sell online. Today I've got a special guest with me. I got my daughter Sloan here. She doesn't seem to be too excited, but I think she is. We're gonna go ship some orders at our storage unit and then we're gonna go hit some thrift stores and see if we can find some stuff to resell. So stay tuned. So I am in the process of shipping this trigger point. I, I really don't even know what it is. I put a thing on the screen there, but I paid a dollar for it at a church sale and it sold for 40. But it's like some kind of runner's workout thingy or whatnot. But this is really the only box that someone could find that this would fit in, but it's a little too tall. So I wanted to show you guys this box resizer. It's like 12 or 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll try to remember to put a link down below, but this thing is pretty cool. I mean, these, it's got, actually got a guide on it instead of the freehand one, so you get a good straight line. But you basically take your measurement, tighten that down, pull your item out so you don't nick it. There you go. Nice clean fit. And I'm going to put some bubble wrap in there too to protect it a little bit. All right, got everything boxed up. We got six going out today. There's Sloney. <laughs> One of the big questions I get is how do I print labels for my storage unit when you, I don't have electricity? All I have is the one single light bulb. Well, let me show you how. I've got my laptop here and it's battery powered, so no problem there. And then I've got my phone that has a mobile hotspot. I use that to connect to the internet so I can go to eBay. And then I've got my thermal printer and it's actually connected to this trip light internet office UPS. It's basically a battery backup system. And, this thing's been a game changer for me. I can take it home and charge it at night, bring it here when I get ready to print labels or ship. And only the bad thing about it is it does have an alarm. So when it's not plugged in and you draw power off of it, it gives us a noxious beep. There's a way around that. And I'm not going to tell you because I don't want you to get electrocuted, but there's this website you can go to and you can type in things you want to learn and people have videos on how to do it. So go check it out. I've got all my orders loaded up along with the kid. We're gonna drop the stuff off at the post office, but we'll see you at the thrift store. All right, this is our first stop. Are you looking for something to sell for profit or are you looking for something for yourself? Profit. Huh? Profit. Say it again. Profit. Profit. Let's go find some profit.
<laughs> yes or no? Got some shoes, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we got a few pair here. I ended up putting some back based on comps and condition issues. So I found this pair of uh, Zoom Clear Out Nikes. Uh, there's only one sold comp on these, but it was like 45 bucks. So we grabbed those. Grabbed these JBU. Never heard of it before, but looked them up and they sell pretty good, like 30 bucks. And then of course we got the Hocus. Definitely gonna grab those. All of these are gonna be 650. So let's see what else we can find. So the rule at our Goodwill is when the employees bring stuff out, you can't touch it until they actually put it on the shelf. And I see something in this guy's cart that I want, so I've got my, my guard here looking out for it. And as soon as he puts it down, I'm going to grab it. Target acquired. This is what we've been waiting on. 94 cent. That's expensive shopping. It says for like 30 bucks. Shout out five resellers, she's looking for quilts. All right, so so far we got that pressure cooker. We got those shoes that we talked about earlier. We have this DVD player, it's actually Blu-ray. I don't usually pick those up, but they only want $6.94 for it and it has the remote, did a quick test, it seems to be working. Looks like it comps out around 40 or 50. And of course the, uh, Pencil sharpener that Slime was so nice and waited around for me. We grabbed it. The only one, 94 cents. Looks like it sells for 20, 30 bucks. But uh, yeah, let's see what else we can find. That's cool. Is the kettle up? Yeah, good find. All right, so I definitely got my good luck charm with me today. Found the Poo sweatshirt, the Blu-ray player, the JBU shoes, the Yikes pencil sharpener, the Zoom clear outs, and 
of these hokas. And also this pot, this pot was definitely the find of the day. It sells for 110 bucks. We paid $48 for everything, so pretty sweet haul. What do you think? I think we did pretty good. Did pretty good. Well, uh, and there's one more to go, or two more to go. So you think we're gonna do good again? Mm-hmm. We're gonna nail it. Let's see what we can find. So our next stop is your favorite thrift store ever, right? Mm-hmm. And, and why is that? Because they have good jewelry. They have good, earrings. they have good jewelry, and they're pretty cheap. So uh, you're gonna be looking at earrings, and I'm gonna be looking for profit. So let's get in here and see what we can find. So I didn't find anything, but Sloan did. Sloan got two pair of earrings. So yeah, she's happy. She found her jewelry at her favorite thrift store. And uh, we got one more to go, see what we can find. So change of plans, we're actually skipping the third thrift store. So that's gonna be the end of this video. It's raining, we're a little hungry, it's lunchtime. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.